Hi there YouTube. This is my Toyota Matrix 2008 model and I wanted to show you what you need in order to successfully install the 115 volt power outlet which can usually be found in the Pontiac Vibe but not in the Toyota Matrix. Okay here they are here it is. Toyota Matrix usually has a little compartment here you um, to store stuff and the Pontiac Vibe, which is exactly the same vehicle, just with a different name, has this neat little gadget. So here's the, the button to turn it on, and that's the power outlet. Here you can plug in anything you need, uh, camera, cell phone, whatever. So what you need to get from the scrapyard are three things. First of all, this, of course, and secondly, the actual inverter. The inverter is hiding behind the driver's seat. Now let's see if I can show you that from here. There it is. That's this little box right there. Um, there's two screws, one up here and one on that side. And so you'll have to take those out. And the cabling, the wire, is already there. It's hiding behind the carpet somewhere in your matrix. So if you can't find it immediately, just keep looking for it a little bit and you'll eventually find it. Um, the, the holes for the screws are already there also in your matrix so you don't have to worry about drilling holes or anything. You can just take it out of the Vibe and put it right into your Toyota as it is. Then thirdly, thirdly you also need a relay and that took me a while to find out. I originally only had this thing mounted and the inverter but that didn't work until I figured out that there was a relay which is hiding in the relay block right behind the glove compartment so don't pay attention to my junk in here but if you reach up here on this side you will feel there's a, a relay block now your Toyota Matrix will have two relays on the far left and the far right is empty and that's where the relay goes for the power inverter okay let me wiggle this out here to show you there it is that's the relay that you need. Make sure you get that from the scrapyard as well, otherwise the whole thing won't work. When you put in the relay, you actually don't need to take this out. You can just sort of do it like I did here, just by feeling. Make sure the relay is facing this way. That's the way it goes in. Okay, there you have these two contacts in the back and then this one facing you. And that's how you sort of put it in. Make sure it's in the far right push it down firmly so it makes contact and now it should work okay let's try this the power light will always work whether you have a relay or inverter or not um, but this thing only works with the relay so let's test this I have a little camera battery charger that I want to try it out on so I'll turn this on and put it in up oh, and there we see it the charge light is on as you can see okay now I turn it off again charge goes off and on now unfortunately this doesn't hold very well because of this hinge here so that's a little problem what I did I went to a dollar store and I got me one of these things okay so I'll plug that in and now I can plug in pretty much anything and there we are the light is charging I'll turn it off again okay that's all you need. You guys have fun.